Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 5 of Eggenborough, our City Skylines 2 series. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for all the support on the channel, and indeed, just a quick shout out if you are enjoying our content. A little over half of you aren't actually subscribed, so if you find yourself coming back watching all the city's content we have on the channel, please do consider subscribing because we are on a push to 100,000 subscribers for this year. And YouTube are still holding me hostage until I can get this number to at least a 70-30% subscribe ratio. So please subscribe, I want to go home and get a fresh change of clothes. But either way, we are expanding Edinburgh today with some simple road network frame. Um, I've found this area of the city becoming uh, increasingly more American, <laughs> which I want to try and avoid because uh, we've done so many american inspired builds in the past uh, but making some room here for some medium density we're also going to do a really nice green space as well and i find this really useful when we move into a new area that's not overly developed just tying off some loose kind of arterial and collector ends just helps kind of focus the mind in on the build and what's going to fill this space uh, we're also extending the bus brt system well, i guess it's just brt system isn't it uh, that we set up last episode because we're going to focus the town centre within this big green space today. Uh, that turns out using the city hall, we also use a lot of park space through here as well. And it just becomes this little green kind of administration gem in the city really that's really going to stand out I think as the city grows out around it. Uh, we'll also do some retaining wall stuff here as well using the new elevated networks. If you don't know how to do this please do go check out our road tools tutorial. Uh, that is linked down below in our City Skylines 2 tutorials playlist. That video will walk you through how to set all this kind of stuff up. But either way, please enjoy the time lapse and we'll catch you in the live play where we'll be building our town centre. So we're going to be working on kind of the town centre for Whiskey, I guess, right? We've got a downtown that is continuing to grow, and there's a few things that have changed over here. Uh, we've now got a fair bit of medium density zone demand coming in. So I decided to upgrade some of the lower density uh, out here uh, into that medium density. It actually looks like the next batch can be done now. So we will do that while we're here. Uh, we want to leave those tiles on the end. That all grows up a little bit separately. And then once we've got some medium density in here now as well. go sometimes they do grow as too deep in a four deep spot but uh just delete them they eventually will grow so nice to see that continuing theme right of wanting to grow up the density where we started rather than kind of further away as we grow out and then we've also brought this bridge back over now as well which is getting a little bit of use and i'm really looking forward to rebuilding this interchange too i will definitely spend an episode doing this i think really want to kind of just experiment with how flexible the new road tools are now for building Kind of a big on and off system like this that's also four directional so anyway there's lots to do <laughs> so uh, we've significantly expanded the frame now i'm not sure where i want to take whiskey up to 
the natural barrier for me would be up to the national road, I think, but I don't just want this to be relentless grid. You can see now we're trying to break it a little bit by shifting the angle. So we'll have some nice designs come in here, I think, as we open up these next few tiles. But before we do get to that, uh, I want to spend a bit of time out here. Uh, so all this bit up top is going to become low density residential, I think, and it seems we've got demand for that. We might as well start zoning that in. And whilst we have medium density, I'd love to start getting some uh, houses in these spaces too, because these are almost tailor-made, but a little alleyway to start coming behind here. So all this is going to look into our kind of central uh, town plaza, which I think we're going to use the city hall to kind of focus the build around, if you like. So we get these zoning, of course, saving those insides to grow up a little bit later. Let's keep it all growing in there. So while that does grow up, let's go into our development tree. So we've got quite a few points building up now, actually. So we, I really want to do trains at some point. I'm going to grab trains now, so I know I've already spent the point on them. I want to come into administration and grab the city hall. So this building is going to lower the interest rates on loans, which we're not really using loans at the minute. Uh, the economy is pretty stable, 1,251 an hour. It dips up and down, but we're at least making money. And it also lowers the price of imported goods as well. I'm not sure how impactful that is at the minute, because I know as of the recording of this video, a lot of the import-export functions really heavily bugged. But it's a nice asset, <laughs> which is what I care about. So I'm going to get the city hall. And then I think we'll come into communications as well, and maybe grab... Yeah, I know post isn't working properly either at the minute yet, so let's go ahead and grab some large sports parks. And I guess we'll also grab the university too, but we probably won't be using that today. Cool, and we'll save those two left over. So we got a little bit of configuration here that we did. So um, let's have a little look where we might want to position our uh, city hall here today. Now I'm thinking within this space here, and kind of have a bit of a geometric design coming down toward the river. I think the position of this asset is going to be quite important. Of course, the other obvious choice would be to also stick it uh, directly opposite the elementary school here in a fashion like that. Which again, I think is quite nice, isn't it? And then we can definitely get some pathways and lots of pedestrian streets moving around this area. As we got some houses looking down into this big, open, kind of green central space. Get a post office in here too. Lots of ideas. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, so I think now in hindsight, as this area is kind of grown up, I think I want to keep all of this road here uh, to be pedestrian sort of focused rather than kind of relying on the car to move people around. So we'll line up this pedestrian street to go bang in the middle of the elementary school there. Let's also get these ones redrawn as well. So I want the city hall to go pretty much there, right? That's going to be the nice sort of most central point, I think, isn't it? I think maybe even knocked back just a touch more than that. Let's go get a pedestrian street and we'll do a curve here for 64 and 67 meters. So repeat that this side again as well. There it is. And then we'll have the city hall. Let's go for as close as we can get to that road. Something like that, I reckon. Then I think we will entirely wrap up at the city hall with pedestrian street. So we do have some car parks on the front of this asset. So I actually do want to make some of this road in that case, just so those car parks actually make sense. Which I think will be okay, because I think we can highlight this road with um, some detailing, some little bits of um, trees and pathways and whatnot. And that's probably the most sensible connection there, actually, isn't it? Cool, I really want to create a nice big focal point around this uh, town hall here today. And then we'll have a look at our buses in a second as well, because we want a bit of a bus interchange here. Let's get some more important trees. Let's get some palaman pines growing in these corners here. So with the buses, let's give this all a little bit more room to breathe. So let's take this away. So I think at this point, we'll maintain the BRT system so it can continue to go all the way through the city. But I'd also like um, a new line to also start here as well. And maybe one of the other ones to end. So let's bring up a little one-way box and we'll do 16 by 23 meters and then we'll do the same here again as well then we'll draw our pedestrian roads up and we can probably find a sensible place to link them all together now uh, this one can come over here and these ones can probably finish here uh, i'm not sure we'll do this space maybe a little bit of commercial on the way out of town perhaps i guess we'll see uh, i definitely want kind of a big bridge as well actually spiraling down here almost like it's a bit of a public work of art but we'll we'll come to that in a second uh, cool, so let's return to buses, so we'll have a bus stop sign here, 
and here. And we do have this brown line at the minute that's just turning around up there, isn't it? So that's okay. So we move that waypoint, so that one's going to end there now, which is fine. And then for right now, I'm going to plant another stop further down here. That just has a simple line that runs back to this one. And then loops back on itself again. And again, you can see how it's trying to come off the BRT. So let's place some more waypoints in there. So that's correct now. So we have that new bus line coming down. I will see how we're doing for bus capacity. Uh, where's our bus depot? It's over here, isn't it? Uh, 23 or 25 used. So we could add an extra garage, which will add more buses. Uh, we can also add electric buses as well. I think we'll save those upgrades for right now. We will eventually get electric buses, but I don't think it's really necessary at this point. Cool. So let's start adding a little bit of activity around here. Um, I'd love some commercial. So let's have this facing all into this kind of big central square here. How's our medium density doing over here as well? Let's go ahead and get some more of those uh, row houses in. And still got lots of low density residential demand as well. So we might as well fill out some more of those pre-made grids. It's kind of the advantage, you know, pre-drawing all this infrastructure out beforehand. You just end up with a lot more variation here. Uh, I'm going to love some bits of commercial in this suburb as well, not just relentless residential. Let's allow some commercial to grow up on the main street corners. Uh, we could probably do with creating another interchange here now. Um, do we want to maybe explore... Do we, can we even unlock intersections yet? No, we need four for them. I guess let's just build a real simple interchange here. So we'll do an 88 meter bridge either side of this uh, highway. I'm not really sure what's happening with this side of the highway yet. I imagine we'll just run an arterial road around the bottom of this mountain, probably down towards the coast at this point, along with the highway doing that as well, but... That's a project for way, way down the line. Maybe connecting in with another town here. Uh, so building a dumbbell should be really, really simple now. Um, let's go ahead and do... See, that's trying to generate a point there, isn't it? So let's save five tiles after the bridge. There we go. And then we'll just do a couple of medium roundabouts. Something like that. And I'll probably need to grab another tile here. Let's go ahead and grab these six. Might as well. We're going to use them eventually, aren't we? Uh, and then we'll do some slip lanes. So I'll talk through how we do this together because we haven't really done one of these yet. Let's go for our lane maths first. So yeah, about here should be good. So let's downgrade all of this one to two lane. And yeah, that should be good enough to come on there as well. And we'll repeat that same two lane upgrade as well. Making sure that we leave space for this single uh, road here to just peel off like that and then we can hook this into our roundabout to turn off zoning cell length and we'll also use a two lane road here and then we'll come out the same side do we want to go up a size here I think maybe we will I think maybe we'll go for the uh, large roundabouts here and then I'm actually going to draw this one in backwards just because I want that nice kind of smooth exit lane here so let's bring this one out out here and we'll let it curve back up and put it back in here. Cool, so that's going to give us a little operational dumbbell dog bone on and off system, uh, which should be okay for this little suburban entrance. There's not going to be an enormous amount of traffic coming down here, I don't think. We should be okay. Uh, we're still getting plenty of industrial demand, so what I am doing over here is just continuing to zone out what will eventually become our major industrial port. We're going to have our rail yards over here, our uh, eventual, what are they called? Big boat things. Cargo containers. <laughs> no, the container ships that'll be over here as well. Uh, so just prepared that as well off camera. So we'll continue to have industrial zoning out this way. Keep it all coming in. Okay, we got another groundwater deposit over here for which I'm not that bothered about polluting, so we'll leave it like that. Like some other activities knocking around here as well. Um, let's see if we can go for a football field in here too. And we'll have this just up here. We'll hit another milestone as well for Big Town, which I think now unlocks uh, high density residential. Yes, it does. So we can start adding um, some real height into our uh, city centre now as well. Uh, again, I want to extend all the pedestrian pathways that are coming off of the town centre. Let's lock into the sides of the football field here as well, if we can. We'll also bring this one up as well to connect in. We can also see we've got a bit of medium density and commercial as well, so let's factor in 
um, a little block of mixed use somewhere, maybe up against the BRT here. Good spot for a little bit of mixed use. Let's also bring some more mixed use into the downtown as well. Um, let's get some blocks of it here. Start getting some larger frames and where we can support them. Let's change some of that up for mixed use as well. Uh, that should be okay, I think. Got a little bit whinged about not enough customers, but expecting that to be patched soon, hopefully. We've got some people whinging on high rent as well. Let's have a look at our uh, uh, taxes here. Almost all our highly educated tax too. We don't have a lot of people paying that at the minute, but they can still afford a bit more. And a little bit more well-educated tax as well, I think. So let's have a look at some of our demographics as well, because I know we should really be paying attention to this. We're currently at 6.8% unemployment. That's definitely come down. And then let's have a look at our workplace availability. So we're filling most uneducated, poorly educated, and educated places. Well-educated places don't actually have that many filled. Although, still more than half, I suppose. Our industrial profit's still a little bit down as well. So let's continue to zone up that um, industry. Also know as well, if you do kind of make changes to your city's economy or kind of processing functions and education and whatnot, uh, you've really got to leave the simulation to run and let those changes take effect in Cities 2. Um, a lot more than you did in Cities 1. So if you're kind of feeling that your demands aren't really where you want them to be, just uh, let the game play. Honestly, I think you'll be surprised as to how quickly it can change. Cool. I'm really enjoying all these medium density row houses around this area. And I think they'd look pretty cool kind of coming around this corner here. So I'd like to experiment with some row housing to see what it's like on a bend. I guess we'll find out. And I'd like some here as well. The European ones are all uh, really nice. Let's keep going in here. Got lots more taxpayers to pay for all the services that we're dropping today. Uh, speaking of services, I'd also like to get involved in posts now for the first time as well. So I feel a post office would be a good asset to include as part of our town centre design. So that's going to be nice to place there. And then we want to go around and place mailboxes everywhere. So um, all around here is very red, isn't it? So let's get some mailboxes sort of down Main Street. Post makes Sims very happy. So if you are struggling with happiness, uh, consider placing a post box near to them. Let's get some down this little street as well. In around the commercial, everyone's happy with this. Cool. And hopefully now as we check out the happiness of the Sims, that a reliable mail service is giving them plus six, which is very nice, isn't it? These people are very, very happy, which is good to see. Starting to make a little bit more money again now too. 1,000 coming in. So I want to work on the BRT a little bit here. This isn't turning out quite how I like it. So I think we're going to bring an alleyway between buildings here and can we just run this straight the way through there hopefully and i think we'll go for some more apartment buildings up here actually uh, let's try specifically zone this in on these four by four ones here because you can get some pretty nice kind of medium density looking tower blocks by doing a pattern like this and since we've got lots of medium density demand we might as well satisfy it Bring that alleyway back into the road network. One final 4x4 space there. Absolutely wonderful. I definitely want a pathway to come through here. We'll cut that straight through back onto the main road. We will lose a commercial, but it was going to regrow. Uh, and then we'll do some more bus stops here as well. Let's do another couple of stands. And then we'll get the line to stop at that one. And again at this one. So that can pick up quite a lot of people from these apartments, hopefully. Feeding them back into the BRT where they can exchange on bus lines. Back towards the city centre and that should keep everyone moving, we hope. So the other thing I mentioned was using some of the pedestrian bridges to kind of create like a little public work of art maybe over here. So let's come as close as we can in. Now that's going to be exactly 10 metres, which is tremendously handy. And where, where, where do we want to do this from? Let's maybe go for... Yeah, to fill this space. So we'll start it close to the embanked road. We'll take it for 88 metres. And then we'll do some simple curves here. So let's go no grid snapping and no guideline. And we'll do 28 metres by 28 and come down by half. And then repeat 24. 
24 and then down by the rest. And then we'll do a little curve into this one here. Uh, come down off this next node over this point back up to 5 meters. And then I'd like to spiral another one off this way and into the crossing. And then finally one more off of here. We'll come back up to 5 meters again, maybe 6.25 this time. The big sweeping curve as we come right back down to earth. And then we'll get this surrounded with some parks as well. Let's use some of our sports parks. Let's get some uh, basketball courts knocking around here. Let's go for a couple of this side. Cool. So we're also getting some high density now as well. So let's bring in some high density into our downtown for the first time. Uh, again, I, I want to respect a bit of a design here. So let's maybe replace some smaller units with high density residential. I don't want like real tall skyscrapers here, so we'll keep the zonings fairly small, I think. And again, just those two little bits there has already satisfied that single demand, doesn't it? But we'll see what they grow up to be like. So otherwise, I'm liking the uh, the crawling density that we're generating across Eggenborough now. It's starting to climb up there, isn't it? If you excuse the broken, bugged textures, but there we go, now it's loaded. Uh, it's not looking too bad, is it? I also love the view from up in the suburb here as well, just kind of like the rolling outer line housing. You can really kind of look back toward the town now and see lots of different designs. Water tower over there. It's starting to develop a bit more personality thing, isn't it? So I'd love to extend the pedestrian streets through here as well up to other networks now. So let's go for this one here. I reckon we'll keep this as a road, actually. Get a little bit of sloped terrain here as well. We'll let this road come up here, and this is a perfect chance to use complex curve uh, for which we want guidelines on. So let's go for here, hit that one, and then come up to there. Absolutely wonderful. And then just soften that back out again. Cool. Might even be worth actually extending this um, sort of key wall now right up to the top there. I guess we'll see how it develops during the detailing. Uh, and then where we do have that new road connection in now, this seems like a nice spot for. Uh, the old faithful pedestrian road to extend off and hook in there. That kind of boxes off this town square now, doesn't it? Let's get some more parks here. How about a large one? Like, can we get a large plaza through here as well? Maybe one next to the town hall might be quite nice. There we go. Cool, yeah, this is more what I was after with these apartments here. A nice little um, repeated apartment pattern here now next to the river. I think we'll get some trees in between here as well. Uh, for which we might use, I think oaks. Let's go for an oak brush. We'll bring it down to as small as possible size. High intensity. And then just uh, run it through here, I think. There we go. And then let's also make sure this pathway continues across to the other side of the road with no silent stopping. There we go. Fantastic. There's, uh, there's no one getting on here yet, unfortunately. I thought this would be a... Uh, Busier stop, but it's okay, I guess. Are you going to come use the bus? No, you're walking. I guess that's still good. <laughs> Don't have to use public transport, I suppose. Okay, so here we go. Here's some of these new uh, high-density towers, which I really do like in the downtown, I have to admit. Uh, let's go ahead and get a bigger one in. Um, there's some abandonment over here in the low-cost housing, so let's now change this to high-density housing. Uh, what's going on over here? We've just got lots of apartments over this way. So I think the game is trying to tell us we might need some more ambulances now. <laughs> because there's a lot of people calling for them and not getting them. Uh, let's head back to our... Is that med clinic here, isn't it? Uh, so we could add the ambulance depot upgrade on. How many more vehicles does this give us? About five more, is that? Okay. So we've got our first fully upgraded uh, medical clinic now. We've got the extension wing and the ambulance clinic on it. So hopefully that's going to take away a few of the problems. We'll wait and find out, of course. Could also be time to put a hospital soon as well, maybe. Yeah, we have really, really high residential demands right now. Um, I want to continue switching out some of this residential in the downtown into mixed use. So let's do that while we're here, because we can satisfy both demands with that. Yeah, all this residential can upgrade to mixed use now, or commercial rather. Let's let all that grow up. And again, let's do a bit more, a few more towers. Let's um, get rid of that one there. Change up to be high density residential. 
That is one big tower, but again, if they stay this sort of size, I'm pretty happy with them, I think. I do like the way the skyline's developing. That's going to be way too tall. <laughs> let's, let, let's, uh, let's remedy that. So let's say no thank you and wait for them to regrow a little different size. But uh, otherwise, guys, I think it's time for a detailing time lapse. Just been waiting for some things to grow up here. Nice to have some more towers in the downtown, isn't it? Really coming together now, I think. Really fun once we get that bridge in as well to cross over and do another town. Over the side of the river. Can maybe make them rivals again. Might be a bit of fun. But uh, otherwise, this feels like a good place for a detailing time lapse. Uh, I think we're just gonna. I'm really appreciating so actually kind of the wide open basin space here within the middle of all the sprawl. Um, I think once whiskey is done, this is going to really pay off, I think. But uh, now I want to bring in lots of pathways, trees, patterns, where we want them, like we've done through here. Uh, probably fill out this with mid density zoning because we've just got so many demands right now. Uh, City's really starting to grow up, uh, up to 7,000 an hour with the money. And uh, making some decent increases in population as well. How are we doing for education? Probably due a university. I imagine we'll do that next episode though, rather than shove it in a detailed time lapse. Yeah, just do more green spaces like this, like we did in that intro time lapse, just more fun pathway designs that can use to help eat slow past suburbia. But otherwise, the city is uh, having a lot of fun, I think, isn't it? It's really coming together. But let's do some detailing, and then we'll be right back.
All right, guys, let's have a little review of what's happened during our detailing. So adding in a little bit of office demand because we start to have that spike now. And this is what I mean, like I said earlier, like you place education and new services and sometimes those new services don't immediately impact. You really have to let the simulation play out. And that's what's happened here. Um, all that new density in the downtown and the office, which I've got over here as well, which we'll have a look at, uh, is really skyrocketed the economy. <laughs> Plus 40 grand now, so... Kind of already playing on easy mode, it's essentially creative mode at this point with so much money and that's only going to continue to grow as well. Uh, but this bus line, uh, the Whiskey BRT, which heads back to the bus station we set up last episode over there, uh, is really busy now and you probably would have seen in the detail in time lapse that there's uh, plenty of different sims coming in and that using the bus line. Now we've also got this one over here as well, uh, which is this bus line over here, the one that runs up this street. So it does kind of turn off and make a little um, sort of call into our little bus transport hub over here. And then we've got one more platform left free here as well. So maybe when the town grows out kind of a little bit westward, we can start another bus line here that's going to feed over to those eventual areas that don't currently exist. But city is really nice and healthy now. Tons of demand and uh, tons of money as well. So really happy to see that. And for the first time... We have some Cities 2 walking pawn, which is quite nice to watch actually. And I'm a big fan of how much open green space we've got here, what is essentially going to be um, right in the middle of the town. And uh, yeah, it's just getting loads of use as people are now starting to pick up on the elevated path here, which crosses back over uh, the corporate system, back into the suburb over this way. And we did kind of end up repositioning the whole park structure here. I wanted this kind of big open park space to be sat at the back of the town hall, so it just gives things a bit of a rejig. And it changed the road apart the front so that these car parks actually have access onto the road. Uh, it's all looking quite nice now. I'm really happy with it. It's more zoning out here. Uh, we did some office over here again just because we started to have those office demand spikes. So I thought a few workplaces in the town centre would uh, go a, a long way, such as um, Denny Owl's Law. What else have we got over here? CRI Moore. I'm not sure if these are referencing things. <laughs> I'm sure they could be. <laughs> What else do we have? We've got Snafu Insurance Company. Isn't Snafu from South Park? I'm sure I recognise Snafu from somewhere. It, it, it could be. Then yes, uh, more pathways here that link back into the pedestrian streets. And I'm really glad we went so pedestrian road heavy here. It's uh, nice just to see people milling around and walking about, getting on their day. Uh, joined it up with the road of the little roundabout here. Where there's a little bit more commercial in amongst all our apartments. We've also got the football ground over here too. Uh, and then a bunch of apartment buildings and low rent housing uh, to satisfy those demands that came in. And then this big medium density wave now with the alleyways behind it uh, is now all complete. And people are walking down here as well, which is nice to see, isn't it? So yeah, the whole town centre uh, just came across really nicely. Uh, there's also quite a few people, at least, uh, during the detailing. Oh, there we go. We, uh, we missed that one again, didn't we? <laughs> where, where were you going? But where are you going? What is going on there? Uh, it would appear there is a bit of higgledy piggledyness here, isn't there? Let's go ahead and add some more waypoints onto the BRT system, because that's what's causing them to come off. Cool, there we go. I think that's what we want, right? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't notice those things when we're actually doing the building. But yes, back to my original point, is that we were getting a lot of people uh, coming to use this blue bus line here and getting off here by the apartments. So again, just lots of nice walking porn for Sims to indulge in. We'll hopefully catch a bus coming down here at some point. So here we go, here's the buses now. Uh, really happy to see this BRT system just expanding and getting larger um, every episode. Be interesting to see just how um, busy it gets, won't it, as the city grows larger, because we'll definitely make it a key part of the infrastructure. And I was thinking actually, just because it is getting kind of so busy now around the town with the population increase, um, could be worth actually having a look at trams sooner rather than later. Not entirely sure where we're going to bring trams in yet. Maybe down kind of this arterial road will become our tram network and we'll feed them into downtown this way while the buses are occupying kind of this left-hand side stretch here maybe. Not sure. Let me know where you think would be good for a tram system. I uh, would like to get them in at some point anyway. And uh, yes, then our downtown has now just a bunch of different new towers in it from the high-density demands coming in. Uh, there's mixed use down Main Street now as well, alongside some of these new, uh, very kind of Glaswegian looking tower blocks actually. Uh, these smaller high density towers actually 
uh, kind of suit the Scottish theme quite well. Otherwise, the town is growing up uh, further and further each time, and really happy with this big open green space design that we've saved over here now as well. It's turned into a really nice part of the city, I think, especially when you're kind of looking downhill uh, back toward the town centre. Pretty happy with it overall. Otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. Let's like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, likes, comments, and shares below really go a long way in bringing these videos to more people and helping to grow the channel. And we are currently on our march to 100,000 subscribers as well. So if you aren't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It would be really fun to try and get to that milestone before the end of the year. It's a big push, but we'll try for sure. Otherwise, I'm really happy with Edinburgh's progress. I'm really happy with this big open green space that we've saved today. And it should look really cool in autumn as well once all these trees begin to change. And uh, we'll definitely bring in some more bus lines here uh, whenever we're ready for a new one. Plus, tram's not too far away on the horizon, I don't think, either. Imagine we'll probably have one or two more episodes in Whiskey before we go set up another town. Um, the city's production economy kind of really needs uh, some mining, some stone and ore need to be extracted for the city to continue to function properly. So, incoming mining town build, I think, fairly soon be over there for a couple of episodes too i imagine massive shout out to all the patrons that are supporting the channel really appreciate all the support you guys drop and special roll call to felix wilkinson so otherwise i'd like to thank you all so much for watching and as always enjoy the rest of your day